I like to get motivated this time of year, so maybe somebody out there would like to get motivated along with me. <laughs> ah! No, I'm not. I don't help around the house. That's sort of an invited your dang dang Why? I am. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. So we are on Christmas break. We've actually been on Christmas break for about a week now. Um, and today, Aspen and I just started an Amish friendship bread starter. So we're pretty excited. We've got our day one in tomorrow. Guyana knows I'm talking. <laughs> hey, hey, Guyana. Anyway, we, uh, we're on day one and I think it's like 10 days before we can make it. So we have the bag sitting on our counter. Have you ever made Amish friendship bread? It's super good. It's this like cinnamon, sugar, encrusted bread, but it takes, yeah, about 10 days to make. And then I think I'll get one or two starters from this that I can give away, which is why it's called friendship bread. I used to have a starter and then I think, I can't remember what happened to mine. I think maybe our freezer went bad. I think it was frozen at the time. I can't remember. It's been so long. But anyway, um, something happened to my starter and I didn't have uh, the recipe to make it. Well, the other day on Facebook, the recipe popped up and it had the starter included with it. So I was really excited for that. Anyway, today I'm gonna tackle, I've got some dishes in the sink from last night's dinner. So I'm gonna tackle that. The house is very decorated and ready to go for the holiday season. So did you see this giant wreath? Look at this, Matt bought this giant wreath and we put it on our front door. <laughs> Isn't that pretty though? My mom gave us these as a present and Matt added those to it. And then we've had this, oh my goodness, I bought that at Kmart years and years ago. This really pretty, isn't that neat? Anyway, oh, try not to break it. Um, so, yeah, and it's an all natural wreath. So I'm gonna see if I have uh, someone that has goats or something that would like to take it because the goats will eat eat the pine tree. And we put up a real Christmas tree this year. Oh, well, I showed you guys that. We were decorating it. But there, yeah, there it is. Isn't that pretty? It's very pretty. Oh, anyway, grandkids went home yesterday. So I'm, I'm so excited to be getting into this holiday part of the year. Look what else I did. Isn't that pretty? Up there. And I've got a snowman hiding up there. I took our old wreath from our front door and I put it in front of my copper plate. We've got our snowy stuff there. Only thing I'm missing, I've got to wash it, is my big snowman plate. I'm going to stick next to that and put right there. Yeah, it's, it's feeling festive in here and I wasn't sure we were going to get to this point because with school and everything I've been so busy I haven't been able to do the stuff that I normally do. So I'm just finally starting to get caught up and I hope you guys have been noticing that we're finally starting to get some of the more recent videos out for you to see and not have them be like, I think our Halloween vlog was two months behind. So <laughs> we're pretty close, October, November. It was like a month and a half behind, I think, when I put it out. But it is what it is. Anyway, I am gonna get started on some housework. I thought I'd just bring you guys along with that kind of stuff today, just kind of prepping for the holidays. Um, and just do a little bit of a clean with me video. I thought maybe, you know, like me, I like to get motivated this time of year. So maybe somebody out there would like to get motivated along with me. <laughs> I'm not even wearing a Vlogmas shirt this year. I just did not, I actually had an issue happen where I had some of my Vlogmas stuff got ruined. So I didn't pull out all my Vlogmas shirts, but look, I'm wearing like the craziest <laughs> pants today in this black hoodie, but it is what it is. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get started with the dishes. I think that's gonna be the easiest thing. I'm gonna put away some clean dishes, 
load this up and then just hand wash whatever's left over, get my counters wiped down. We had a nice breakfast this morning, which Braxton was nice enough to make for us. Um, he made me a scrambler. He made scrambled eggs with maple sausage, uh, onion, and green pepper in it. And he is waiting for me very patiently or impatiently, I don't know yet, to make uh, stir fry. Yeah, so I think while I'm doing dishes, I'm going to boil the piece of chicken that I need because we need some chicken for our stir fry. Maybe I'll show you guys that recipe. I think I already showed it once before, but it's a super simple way to make um, a lunch like an Asian inspired lunch. Normally I would make it with canned chicken, which makes it a little bit simpler recipe to make, but I'm out of canned chicken right now. I know my canned good supply is like, I just don't have one right now. <laughs> anyway, um, normally I would make it with canned chicken, but when I don't have that available, I'll just take a chicken breast, I'll boil it up till it's not pink in the middle, and then I'll just shred the meat like I would have with canned chicken. I might just actually chop it up. That's my mom. I'm gonna grab out the water to boil the chicken and then I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I've got my chicken boiling. My dishwasher is empty. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself uh, a drink packet so I can get some water in and I need to restock my vitamin holder. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll come back and if the chicken's not boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on tackling the dishes. Doesn't that look terrible? It really looks worse than it is. <laughs> They're just all stacked into one side of the sink right now but I need to get them out. And this is just from this morning's breakfast and last night's dinner. Pans and everything, isn't that crazy? We just use, I mean, we do a ton of cooking in this house. So that's what it looks like when, when we're cooking at home and we're actually eating at home and not eating out. So a sink full of dishes is a good thing because that means that we are actually eating at home and not wasting money eating out all of the time. So. Friday, Thursday or Friday, we'll probably eat out, um, depending on if like I decide to make a crock pot meal or something, because we're gonna be doing a bunch of Christmas shopping later in the week. So we're cutting it close this year on Christmas shopping. I forgot to turn on my little plant. Look, my mom made this for me. The plant's not doing so well at the moment, but we'll see, I'm trying to bring it back to life. Isn't that cute though? I refilled my vitamins. I made my water. I went with this drink packet today. I'm, uh, it's peach mango flavored. I gotta show you what, what I did with my drink packets so I can keep better track of them. Let me throw that away. Look at this. 
These are like all my favorite flavors of drink packets. I just got one of these little, I don't know, like tray things at the Dollar Tree. I've had this one for a while. And I just put all my drink packets in there. Well, all the single packets I do have. Oh, maybe I'm out. Sometimes I have like some of the bigger ones, but they're self-contained. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna take my vitamins. I'm refilled for the week. Drink my water. I got this cup through my school. Isn't that awesome? I love it. It's so big and it keeps everything cold for like ever. And it's pretty spill proof if you put it on its side. Isn't that awesome? Okay, I'm gonna tackle loading the dishwasher back up. My chicken's still boiling. Take my vitamins. We're gonna get this done today. And I think we're gonna clean bird cages today because it needs done. And before I get started on the dishes, I'm gonna check the chicken because I wanna see how much longer it has yet. So I usually just pull it out and open it. And it looks like it's still pretty pink. So I'm just gonna stick that back in. Not even close to ready yet. Maybe I'm gonna stick that back in. I'm gonna turn that heat up just a little bit. It was up higher and then it was <clears throat> trying to boil over a little bit. So pour that water back in there. Okay. Chicken's not done. I'm gonna leave this stuff here. I can keep cooking. So yeah, that's usually why when I'm making a lunch, especially if I'm in a hurry, I'll use a canned chicken. One thing I guess I could do is pre-boil up some uh, chicken breasts and like have them pre-shredded and put away. And that might be a little bit more cost effective. I actually might start doing that and just keep it in the freezer and pull out what I need, like small single portions. So that might be an idea coming up here so I don't have to buy as much canned chicken because it's gone up in price. And so I try to be um, a little more frugal when it comes to like how I purchase my groceries. Um, once I went back to school, I kind of moved away from that a little bit more and we were eating out a lot more. So now that I'm on break, I'm trying to reset and make a plan of attack so that that's not happening. Okay. I'm gonna load up this dishwasher. Once I do, it's gonna look so much better in here. All right, hydrate, clean, here we go. Look, you're actually getting to see Matt. Ah. <laughs> Normally he's working this time of day, but he stopped to get some lunch. You're back on a weight loss journey, huh? Yes, lots of salads. Lots of salads, yes, yeah, so. It don't is... look the healthiest right now, but really that's sour cream and the cheese is the only. Yeah, but well, you gotta have some fat and protein yeah. in your diet. That's a part of eating healthy. But you made just a taco salad, but without any chips, chips or anything with it, huh? Yep. It's kind of like a deconstructed taco. Yeah. <laughs> it's a taco bowl without a taco bowl. This is the next thing I'm hitting. See our table? This is from breakfast this morning and a snack from Aspen. So that's my next cleaning. And let's tackle this pile, shall we? While Matt eats his lunch. Just put that steam. So steam is just uh, water and gas for us. Oh. 
Doesn't take that long. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this, and I wanna tell you straight just like it is. You're watching me like you want me, but you're still holding. You're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless the dishwasher I still have this much left in dishes plus some stuff over here is that crazy I need to wipe up the stove we've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going no control you push me then you pull me back in don't know if I can decipher how your mind works yeah you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more You leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go for it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again So give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more talking to you 
Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign You think about it too When the lights go out And there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in So give me a sign Give me a sign oh, Baby, just give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you and Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign This is at a really nice boil and I'm betting it's probably close to being done. I'm gonna check this now, maybe take a break from the dishes. I've knocked a huge dent in the dishes and really I didn't even hand wash that many. It's just how it looks when they're all stacked up. So I've got a few more over here to tackle and some counters to wipe down. And then, then maybe I should be able to tackle those bird cages. Okay, so chickens. I usually just pull it apart and it should be white all the way through the center. There shouldn't be any pink showing and then that should be ready. Now I'm going to chop this up into small pieces and then we're going to make the rest of our lunch. What did you do? What I almost put the camera? <laughs> You're recording it now, no! <laughs> I don't... I almost put these away in the fridge. <laughs> okay, so my chicken's all chopped up. I'm gonna get my walk out. Look at this. Hello. Braxton's washing the dishes he just ate with. No, I'm not. I don't help around the house. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. What, what peanut gallery? Oh, he's like, Mom, my mouth full. <laughs> I said he's right. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Okay, I've got my walk on. And I'm gonna put it on probably like seven. And then I'm gonna put some oil in here. Normally I would use sesame oil, but I am currently out of sesame oil. That's my favorite to use when making Asian inspired dishes. I absolutely love the smell of it. But for today, I'm just gonna use some regular, probably vegetable oil that I have. Okay. So that's about how much oil I use in my pan. Just enough to kind of coat the vegetables. And I've got it heating up right now. My burner was already hot, so I've got a nice start on that. I'm gonna get, I just use frozen, fro frozen, frozen stir fry vegetables. You can pick whatever type you like. You could use something other than stir fry vegetables too. If you just wanted to do like broccoli, broccoli and cauliflower and those sorts of things, you could do fresh vegetables. You just don't wanna cook them as long if you're using fresh vegetables. So this is the one I use. I just use the Great Value brand. I use the deluxe stir fry. This one has the baby carrots. It does not have the bamboo shoots. Um, I'm not a huge fan of bamboo shoots, but I really like the, well, I'm sorry, it has the baby corn. Um, I like the mix in this and a couple of my kids really like the baby corn. Okay, so my vegetables are still somewhat frozen, but I'm going to go ahead and add this right now. Um, I add a low sodium soy sauce and I'm, I'm pretty liberal about it. That should be about right. I'm just gonna mix that up. So that is the first sauce that I add. Then I'm liberal about it because I'm gonna put my chicken in here too. And so it's, I'm gonna want it to coat the chicken. Oh, that's smelling so good. I can't even tell you. It smells so good. All right, I'm gonna throw my chicken in now. That way it has a chance. I mean, it's already warm and it's already cooked. 
but it gets a chance to coat it and just kind of mix that flavor with the vegetables too. Doesn't that look good? And I might even add a little bit more soy sauce yet. Um, this is not our main sauce though. I actually, and I'll show you here in a minute, and I don't put it in the pan, I used to, um, but she likes her sauce on the side and then she'll dip hers in it because I happen to like more of the sauce than she does. So I just don't put it on until after I go to um, put it on our plates now. But this is the sauce that I use, hoisin sauce, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, and I just put that all over it. This really reminds me a lot of like the plum sauce I've had on mushu pork. It's so, so good. I really wish you guys could smell this though. It just smells amazing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add just the slightest bit more not too much there. Soy sauce, I'm getting low on my soy sauce too. I really need to restock my staples. I might have to do a large grocery haul coming up here one of these days soon and I'll share that with you guys. I need to restock my pantry and some of my cabinets. I wanna get some of my frozen stuff restocked. Okay, my lunch is done. Doesn't that look good? But I forgot to make the rice. I normally have this going and ready to go by the time our vegetables are done. So I'm gonna get this on and then we're gonna eat. Okay, normally I do this on the cooktop, but I'm gonna use a microwave safe bowl. My mom gave me this forever ago, you guys. I had it for so long, it has a lid on it. It is such, just one of my favorite dishes. I have two of these, one is bigger and then I have a smaller one that I use. A lot of times I'll make like um, broccoli and cheese in this if I just wanna do a microwave version of it. And I'll heat up my broccoli in here. Um, usually frozen broccoli because it gets really moist. I'll heat up my broccoli in here and then I'll throw the cheese on top, stick the lid on it, and it'll melt the cheese. And it's a really quick, simple way to make a side dish. There it is with the hoisin sauce and then I just mix it up, mix it in my rice. And you guys, this is such a good, healthy meal. Yeah, I'm gonna come eat with you, buddy. <laughs> Good job. Can I eat you? How's your lunch? It's delicious. So poor Ireland, she made it all through the nutcracker. Started getting a bit of a sniffle, what, like one or two days before the last performances? Yeah. Or like during those last performances you were kind of getting them? Kind of had a stuffy nose and now she full on does not feel good. So it's been pretty much bed all day for you, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you don't feel good. I'm sorry. We did, however, get in our email what today? Do you remember? Uh, no. The link for? Oh, the video of the nutcracker. Yeah, so it is since last year. It's a new tradition we formed last year, but on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, I think it's gonna be Christmas Day this year, we'll watch Ireland's part with our whole family that's here. I'm so excited and I'm sorry you don't feel good, honey. I almost just lost my bagel. Oh, don't lose the bagel. No, That's bagel not. abuse. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, I need some more light. Let the be light. No, this not it. Aha. Uh -huh. Why are you making weird noises? Oh. Do you want to look like that on my speed up of the vlog? Mm. Okay, all right, as long as you don't care, I warned you. Okay, all right, We're watching the new, Indi oh, you're not feeling good enough. I was gonna say real, we're watching the new Indiana Jones tonight. Wow, Do you want us to wait? Yeah. Okay. No way. We'll wait, honey. <coughs> oh, I just coughed all over this cream hey. cheese. Did you really? Yeah. Do we have any other cream cheese? I think so. Okay. This one's almost gone anyway. All right, you finish it up, then throw it away. I'm not serving anybody your dainty Why? cheese. <laughs> Why? I don't see anything wrong. Okay. So there it is. Kitchen looks great. 
and I just need to go in and wipe down the dining room table. That's in good shape, just needs a quick wipe down. Kitchen's done. Aspen is off to his karate belt test tonight. So, and then we're gonna clean some bird cages. Isn't this super cute, you guys? Look, see my little Grinch salt and pepper shakers? My mother-in-law gave me those last year or the year before. Hey. Hello. So let's my see name it. is Aspen. And I'm the first one in my house with the highest green belt. Yeah, you got your junior green belt yep. tonight, huh? I'm a really high belt. <laughs> I'm higher than I own, right? Mm -hmm. Well, she had to go back a couple belts because she changed forms, remember? So she was. Oh, yeah! She was, she was a yellow. yellow belt, but she had to go back to white when she decided to join I started join a yellow Cito. belt, and then I've got my last belt for the year. This was my belt, last belt, and I've gone up super high. I've gone up four belts. Yeah, because there's no more belt tests for the year, huh? Well, for and the this dogs is there is. Well, oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, yeah. So, but this is actually, I was counting your belts upstairs. You are on your seventh belt. What? Yeah. Where are my belts at? They're hanging on your door. Yeah. Okay. I am just about ready to start making dinner now that we're back home. A little bit later than I wanted to start it, but I drove around with Matt for a while. and So I was enjoying myself. Anyway, I'm going to get, I need a large pot. About to dirty some more dishes. <laughs> That's okay, I'm not gonna wash them till tomorrow, so I'll rinse them out, but I'm not washing them. Mm. Okay, let's do this. We need some olive oil, which I think I have some in the Lazy Susan. Mm -hmm. Olive oil. Da -da -da. Okay, and then, what else do I need? It says, Olive oil over a medium heat, so we need one tablespoon. Okay. Okay, so I had some of these Texas toast garlic bread, and I decided I'm gonna preheat my oven. It's not too late, it's only about 7.30. I'd like to have our dinner made a little bit sooner than that, but it is what it is. But I really think this is just gonna make our dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop some garlic toast on here and we're gonna have this with our soup. Kinda nice when you open up your freezer and find something like that that you forgot was in there. I think I purchased two of them for a meal the one day and I only ended up using one. So it's always nice to have like a backup and this is one of the things that I should just keep as like a stock in the freezer because you can always use them for a meal. And man, does that smell good. I hope it's as good as it smells. Okay, so there is the soup. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I've already snuck a taste. This is delicious. It is totally worth trying. Um, if you make yours and you realize that it just seems like there's not a lot of stock in it, go ahead and add some more. Um, and even a little bit more heavy whipping cream if you want. I did, I just felt like it wasn't enough. It would have been more like a stew. This. It's so good, you guys. It's so worth it. I wasn't, I said I wasn't gonna do the dishes till tomorrow. I had time to kill, so I did them. <laughs> I probably won't wash up the pan till the morning because it's gonna need to cool, but I'm gonna wipe down the counter real quick. Got about three and a half minutes till my garlic bread's done and then we're gonna eat. Okay, so I'm about at the end of my night of what I'm gonna do for cleaning. Kind of taking it at a slow pace, so that's probably why it's like eight o'clock at night. Ooh. I just realized I still had a burner on. Glad I went to talk to you guys. That could have been bad. Holy cow, I had my soup pot sitting on it and on low and I totally didn't even think about it. Okay, anyway, um, so I'm about at the end of my night. Um, and like I said, I've been kind of just taking it slow today. I've been relaxing since I finished off the school semester. And so today I just really wanted to go at a slow pace. Yesterday I kind of went at this hurried pace of what I was trying to get done because I had a time limit. Hi babe. Hello. Hi. We're gonna finish up the night by taking care of the Conyer cage for sure tonight. I may wait to get to some of the other cages but I wanna get their cage cleaned out tonight. So I've got my sink cleared out. Um, that way I can kind of wash their dishes and stuff in here. And then of course we will sanitize the sink when we're done with it. We'll bleach it out and stuff. But. All right, let's get them taken care of. You can hang out with me later. Yes. 
This is what we're working with here. I did not, normally I clean this out every morning, so it's super messy. Um, but you can see, they need their cage cleaned. Hi, Kiana. Hi, Brazil. He's like, come on, feed me, give me stuff. I'm ready. Okay, so for these guys, I just use a clean white cloth and then some mild dish detergent. I'm actually going to use this one because this one does not have any scent to it. And then I'm just going to use super hot water, wipe all of these out, and then put fresh food and water in them. And that's really all it takes for their dishes to get them clean. So perches are next. This is much cleaner than what it was a few minutes ago. This was really gross. So anyway, I'm going to finish scrubbing these. Same thing. I just use hot water and a mild dish detergent. And then for some of the things in the cage that weren't really very messy, maybe just had like a spot or two, I'll just take a damp cloth and I'll go in and wipe it down um, because it doesn't always need to be fully taken into the sink and it's hard on the wood. So if I don't have to, I don't. Okay, much, much better. Look at those. Don't those look great? All right, I'm gonna go get the bottom of the cage because that's the next thing that gets done and then their cage is pretty much done other than feeding them. All right, so there is their cage all nice and clean. Back to normal. Yeah, ha, huh, your cage is clean. And now I'm gonna put you to bed. You're gonna be like, mom. I'll probably wait a few minutes. They're eating right now, so I'm not gonna put them to bed quite yet. You guys look so much better. All right, I'm gonna go clean the parakeet cages. Hi guys, you need your cage clean, huh? Yeah, clean your cage out. They've got their breathing box on. She's been nesting, so we'll see. Hi Rio, hi Bermuda. Yeah, they're in a breeding cage, and then we've got these two, these guys all over here, and they're ready to have their cage clean too. So I think I'm gonna start with these two because their cage will be real quick and easy, and then I'll move on to the bigger cage. Okay. Their cage is all cleaned out. They've got vitamins in their water. I make sure that she has vitamins every day along with the calcium and cuddle bone mineral block that she has to help the chewed off the perch to their nesting box. So see how that works. I might have to attach another small perch like this one over there. I've got to clean this off and vacuum under here and just get that all cleaned back up. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to move them and clean off their area. And then I'm going to move on to this dirty, dirty cage. <laughs> I'm doing for the night. Mr. Monk and Yemen will have to wait until tomorrow, but it looks so much better in there, doesn't it? Good night, guys. You guys, go to sleep. I can hear you in there. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in the next one, everybody. Good night. <laughs>